Hi, I'm Angelique Smith, and I'm here to talk to you about migrating your course from WebCT Campus Edition 8 to Blackboard Learn 9.1. Before beginning this tutorial, I would suggest you proceed to the Blackboard Essentials self-paced course and download the tutorial called Migrating Your WebCT Course. It will be a valuable resource as we go through the multitude of steps required to complete this process. Let's start by asking a few questions. What content are you hoping to move from WebCT over into Blackboard? Are you planning on moving your entire course? Or maybe just specific assessments or assignments or activities? Maybe you just want to move your My Courses files and start all over again from scratch. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to assume you're going with option A. We're going to move our entire WebCT course over into Blackboard. Before starting on these steps, we need to do several things. We're going to start by cleaning up our headers and footers and removing any of the custom CSS script or JavaScript that you've included in your headers. We're also going to get rid of any of those old content files that we don't utilize anymore, including getting rid of any old backups from the system. Once we've done that, we're going to create a new backup, download that file, and prepare to move it into the new system. Let's go through these steps together. We're going to start by logging in to the old WebCT system. We're going to scroll down to the bottom under Instructor Tools and go to Manage Course. We're going to go to the Backup folder. And assuming we've already done all the cleanup of those course files, now all we need to do is get rid of any old backups out of the system. Let's go ahead and select the checkbox and delete the old backup. OK, now there's no backups. Let's create a new backup for the course. And as you see, it's been added to the backup queue. Depending on the size of your course, this could take several minutes or a couple hours. Of course, the smaller the file, the faster the backup. Let's click on OK. And in this case, my course is fairly small, so you can see that it's already completed. Now all we need to do is download the course to a place we can locate. So let's click on Save as File and select the My Files option. To keep this course small, we want to remove the tracking data. We're only interested in moving the course content and not any student data. Make sure you make note of what the course name is, as this will be important as we locate it in the My Files area. Let's select OK, and we'll watch the Task in Progress bar. Again, if it's a small course, this will go fairly quickly, but the larger courses might take a little more time. Once the process has become complete, you should get a success message. And we're going to go ahead and find that content. So let's go back to Online Courses Home. Finding that content is often a very difficult process if we didn't pay attention, but since we selected the My Files area, we're going to be able to go to Content Manager and under My Files, we are going to find our course with the .bak extension. That is our course backup. At this point, we need to download it to a location on our computer. So let's select the action link and select Download. We're going to want to save this to a location such as your My Documents folder or your desktop or in your Downloads folder. Let's click on OK. And when you receive the notice that your download is complete, you're ready to go on to Blackboard Learn. You can get to Blackboard Learn by typing in learn.valenciacc.edu. Let's proceed to the course where we're going to migrate our WebCT content. In this course, I'm going to my Migrate course. And we're going to scroll down under Course Management and utilize the Packages and Utilities area. Let's select Import Package and View Logs. And now it's time to import that old course into Blackboard. So we're going to select Import Package. And we've already got our destination selected. Let's go ahead and find that backup file. So we're going to click on Browse. And in my case, I saved it to the Downloads location. And there is my course backup. Let's go ahead and click on Open. 
All right, so we don't have a select all button, but we're gonna need to go ahead and select all the areas that we wanna import into this course. Had you decided that you only wanted to bring in discussion boards or assessments or assignments, you would have only needed to check the boxes specific to that. But we're gonna select everything because I wanna move my entire course from WebCT to Blackboard. Once those are all selected, I'm going to click on Submit. Here's where the challenging part begins because we're gonna see that we're gonna get a success message up here. It says that the action has been queued and an email will be sent when the process is complete. So again, patience is gonna be key here. You're gonna get a message um, that is gonna come to your email and it'll tell you that it has been successful. In the event you receive an error message, much as that that's shown on the screen now, you often get this kind of thing if you've had an error with maybe a course cartridge or if your course has exceeded 250 megabytes in size. Please make note of the error code and forward this to WebCT Help for further assistance. In the event your file size is too large, we can assist you with getting the file smaller or helping to perform the migration ourselves. Of course, for those of you who did get a success message, you'll be getting an email from WebCT Help. This email will let you know that your operation has completed. You'll also have in the body of that message a number of issues that came in through the error log. In the event you see items that say warning, you don't really need to be concerned. These are just notifications that some of your materials might have been renamed from one system to another, but the content has been migrated. If you do, however, receive an error, we encourage you to again contact the WebCT Help Desk or visit one of our Learning Technology Centers for more assistance. So now what do we do? You've got a successful course migration and there's lots more to learn. There are two resources that are going to be very helpful to you and these are also located in the Blackboard Essentials self-paced course. The Getting Started with a Course Moved from CE8 will show you where many of your files were moved from one system to the other. The other is where did my migrated content go? And this will help you navigate through the old file structure and navigation into the new file structure and navigation. Of course, we look forward to seeing you in a learning technology center or a facilitated workshop soon, and thank you for your time.